In the early 20th century, the world used to be thrown into chaos as countries went into conflict in opposition to every other. The Great War, as it used to be called, lasted for four long years, claiming the lives of thousands and thousands and leaving destruction in its wake. But the effect of this warfare was once now not restricted to human casualties alone. It modified the very material of our constructed environment, reshaping our cities in approaches that are still seen today. From the format of structures to the graph of streets and public spaces, World War I had a profound effect on the way we construct our communities. In this video, we will discover how the architecture of war changed the constructed environment and how its legacy continues to structure the world around us. So, join us on this journey through time as we delve into the charming story of how World War I modified the constructed environment. The First World War used to be a turning factor in modern warfare. With newly applied sciences such as airplanes, tanks, and poison gas, the nature of conflict used to be always changed. This shift in military methods additionally had a profound effect on the constructed environment. Architects and engineers had been referred to as a pawn to layout buildings that could withstand these new threats, mainly to new substances and plan styles. One of the most significant impacts on the structure used to be the improvement of bolstered concrete. This material, which had been used sparingly in building earlier than the war, grew to become a vital thing of fortifications and military structures. The use of strengthened concrete allowed for the introduction of constructions that have been more desirable and greater long-lasting than normal brick and stone buildings. The material's flexibility and versatility additionally allowed for larger plan freedom, main to new types and patterns of architecture. In addition to bolstered concrete, current combat additionally led to the improvement of new layout approaches. Architects and engineers started to reflect on consideration on the effect of explosions and shelling on structures, main to the advent of blast-resistant designs. These designs integrated elements such as curved partitions and domes, which may want to deflect the pressure of explosions and guard the occupants of the building. The industrialization of battle had an enormous impact on urbanization. Factories that had as soon as produced civilian items have been now repurposed to produce weapons and munitions. The mass mobilization of troops additionally led to improved demand for housing and infrastructure. This demand, coupled with the want for speedy construction, led to the improvement of new development methods and materials. One of the biggest tendencies in building for the duration of World War I used to be the use of prefabrication. This method worried the manufacture of constructing aspects off-site, which could then be assembled rapidly and efficaciously on-site. Prefabrication allowed for the speedy building of barracks, hospitals, and different military structures, and assembly of the needs of the war effort. The industrialization of fighting additionally affected the layout of cities and towns. Their want-to-go troops and tools rapidly led to the improvement of new transportation infrastructure, such as railways and highways. These new transportation networks, coupled with the enlargement of industrial production, led to the boom of city facilities and the emergence of new city forms. The plan of trenches, which had been a defining function of World War I, had a great impact on the constructed environment. The plan of trenches was once no longer only targeted at defending troopers but additionally at developing a community of interconnected areas that may want to help with a variety of activities. The design of trenches was once characterized by using the use of zigzag patterns and curved walls. These aspects have been meant to stop enemy furnaces from hitting troopers directly, as nicely as to create areas that have been less complicated to defend. The use of dugouts, which have been spaces dug into the floor and bolstered with wooden or concrete, additionally allowed troopers to take cows from enemy fire. The format of trenches had a lasting influence on the constructed environment. The zigzag patterns and curved partitions that had been used in trenches had been later included in the plan of constructions and public spaces. These points had been viewed as a way to enhance the security and protection of structures, as properly as to create areas that have been extra visually fascinating and dynamic. The effect of bombing raids and artillery fireplaces for the duration of World War I left many cities in ruins. 
the destruction of structures and infrastructure had a profound effect on the constructed environment, no longer solely all through the hostilities but additionally in the years that followed. Cities such as Ypres, Reims, and Verdun have been devastated by way of the war, and their ancient constructions and landmarks had been destroyed. The destruction of constructions at some point in the battle led to a rethinking of architectural design. Architects and city planners commenced reflecting on consideration of the influence of bombing and destruction on structures, mainly to the improvement of new graph approaches. The use of strengthened concrete, for example, grew to become even greater vital in the post-war period, as it was once viewed as a cloth that could stand up to the influence of bombings and artillery fire. The effect of bombing raids and destruction additionally had a social effect on the constructed environment. The destruction of housing and infrastructure led to a housing disaster in many cities, as nicely as a scarcity of public amenities. This led to a renewed center of attention on social housing and the provision of public services such as parks and public spaces. Architects and city planners started to see the constructed surroundings as a way to enhance the lives of residents and to create extra livable and sustainable cities. The legacy of World War I on the structure can be viewed in the constructed surroundings today. The use of bolstered concrete, prefabrication, and blast-resistant designs are all strategies that originated for the duration of combat and are nonetheless used today. The influence of the hostilities on the sketch of cities and city infrastructure is additionally seen in the transportation networks and city types that exist today. The legacy of World War I can additionally be considered in the format of memorials and monuments. The struggle had a profound effect on the world, and hundreds of thousands of lives have been lost. Architects and artists spoke back to this loss via growing memorials and monuments that could commemorate the sacrifice of those who fought and died in the war. These memorials and monuments are frequently characterized with the aid of their grandeur and scale, as properly as their use of symbolic imagery. The legacy of World War I on the structure is additionally mirrored in the way we assume about the constructed environment. Architects and city planners are now greater aware of the effect of hostilities and destruction on structures, and they are seeking to plan constructions and infrastructure that are resilient and sustainable in the face of these challenges. The effect of World War I on the structure can nonetheless be felt today. The methods and substances that have been developed at some point in combat proceed to be used in the development of structures and infrastructure. The classes discovered from the destruction of cities throughout the struggle have additionally led to a higher center of attention on sustainability and resilience in the constructed environment. The impact of World War I on the structure can additionally be viewed in the way we sketch public areas and infrastructure. The emphasis on social housing and public services that emerged after the conflict is nonetheless applicable today, as we search to create greater livable and sustainable cities. The diagram of transportation infrastructure, such as railways and highways, additionally continues to be influenced by the want for speedy mobility that emerged throughout the war. The effect of World War I on the constructed surroundings was once profound. The upward shove of cutting-edge combat led to the improvement of new substances and layout approaches, and the industrialization of struggle had a vast impact on urbanization. The layout of trenches and the effect of bombing and destruction additionally had lasting outcomes on the constructed environment. Despite the devastation of the war, it additionally led to enormous developments in structure and city planning. The warfare led to a new center of attention on social housing and public amenities, and architects and city planners commenced to see the constructed surroundings as a way to improve the lives of residents and create greater livable and sustainable cities. The architecture of war had a profound effect on the constructed environment, mainly on giant developments in structure and city planning. While the destruction and devastation of the conflict can't be overlooked, it additionally led to a new way of questioning the constructed surroundings and its position in developing greater sustainable and livable cities. The legacy of World War I on the structure can still be viewed today, and it is a testament to the enduring effect of this ancient battle on the world we stay in. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to our channel for more videos on history, architecture, and urban planning. We appreciate your support and hope that you found this video informative and engaging. 
If you have any feedback or suggestions for future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching Historical Studies, and we hope to see you again soon on our channel.